Good morning, y'all. Well, we're at the end of August, and we sure do have a lot of things blooming. We've had a little bit of rain, and so it looks good. There's this teeny waiting to jump on Lily. <laughs> and so I was kind of excited to do this this morning because we do have dahlias. So, sometimes, you know, I think, wow, they'll never happen, but then they do. So, there's the lavender, full of weeds, but that's fine. I'll get to it. And the gate, there we go. So, I thought that I would show y'all what's happening. The butterflies are loving it. I'll start here. This is Linda's baby. Um, it's got lots of buds on it. That's exciting. And this one is iced tea. It's a new one this year. Very pretty. And these right here are monster ones. And I've, I've cut them back a lot. But we'll see if they work. This one is Gets perfection. It's beautiful. The limbs are kind of fragile, so I'm hoping they bloom before the, they break. Tube roses are still blooming, which I just love the fragrance of those. Here is Cafe Ole. I left it there so that I could have it in the video this morning, but I see that the um, stem has broken. So, they're going in the house. <laughs> Lots of buds there and they just break. Dahlias just break, so that's just part of it. If I was professional, I guess I would make sure that they didn't, but I'm not, so I don't care. Let's get to the other side, because see how green and everything they look? The heat is not quite 100 degrees every day, so it's making a big difference. So, I kind of had, guess, given up that we would have dahlias this year, but they're true to form. In the fall, they start blooming. Wow, they just are, they are just gorgeous. That is Miss Amara. It's a beautiful dahlia. This is Yuku. It just, it's great. It just blooms and blooms and blooms, no matter what. Once it reaches a certain time in the season it just blooms this is breakout it's one of my favorite and that i think that is uh cornell bronze maybe i need to look that up anyway this one is myrtle's brandy it used to be way more uh red and white and maybe as it cools off it'll get um more distinct because it's kind of pink now, but you can see this is Silver Years, and I've picked quite a bit off of it, and this one is one of my very, very favorites. This is Otto's Thrill. Just a beautiful, beautiful dahlia, and I've got some on this side. And from what I have seen with one of the dahlia farmers that I follow, I think we might have spider mites. I thought that it was disease, but I'm, I'm not. He had talked about it this week, and I don't think it's disease. I think it's spider mites. So there's the back of Miss Amara and home up there on the hill. I'll give you a quick overview of me still hanging on. I never did pull it up. <laughs> and the okra tree forest. <laughs> Very few okra off of these, but maybe they'll start producing now. I don't know. We've gotten a few off of it. There's Lily and Teeny. They're such a joy. Okay. Globe amaranth is just wonderful. There's all different colors. This is the pink. And then there's red and an orangey color back there. 
still have a few zinnias. I just, I can hardly believe that the eucalyptus is there. I've picked some. Maybe it'll grow. I, I really wish that I had a whole lot. These are coxcomb. And I've picked and picked that a lot too. That's all volunteer. Here are some that are yet to even put up buds. Maybe they will. So, there is the Gets Perfection and the Tube Rose. And I want to walk you up here to show what is going on. I know it might be kind of long, so if you're just interested in the values, you can kind of stop now because I'm going to go to the tomatoes and then end up with the cafe au lait that is just, well, it just has so many blooms on it. Last night, Brian said, wow, that one is really doing good. And it is. It's doing better than anything in the yard. So here's how we walk up to the straw bale garden. And here it is. The tomatoes are still green. They're not even really dying. Lily, no. And of course, she would jump through the straw bale this morning. But here's the tomato that our friends gave us their daddy had saved the seeds and it's huge Brian has researched it and we think it's ox heart an heirloom there's one that's getting ripe in there so you can see as an overview this this is a little cherry tomato we've probably picked hundreds off of it it is um, variety well super sweet 100 maybe anyway we still have lots of tomatoes I'm amazed I'm just amazed they're blooming like crazy there's ripening we're picking every day and this is the pea patch I have even had I've, out of this small little pea patch I have even had enough peas that we've eaten I love peas I love, these are lady peas I love them and I have even had some to put in the freezer lots of peas off of that okay I'm going to show you I hope it's not too fast that it gets blurry there's the greenhouse hidden by the crepe myrtle Great Myrtle really needs to be cut. Some of the limbs need to be cut back because it's too overgrown there. But there's the little greenhouse. And let's see the Cafe LA that's the prettiest one. Probably the prettiest dahlia in the yard. Right here. That's one plant. It's beautiful. I usually pick, but I decided to leave it here so that y'all could see. This is the one that everybody is so crazy about, and me included. It doesn't last very long in the vase inside, but it's still, it's a beautiful dahlia. There's the garlic chives starting to bloom there, so it's really the fall, you know. There's several um, fig trees that I've rooted. <laughs> they probably need to be planted in the ground. So anyway, this is about it. This is about all. And there's, Brian left this, the chairs stacked up on the table. That's his favorite thing to do when he mows. <laughs> oh my. Anyway. I know the, the sun is kind of bright there, but we need it. And there's the yard. Weeds and all. Thank y'all for coming along. This is Mona from Winter Past.